Alright, what's up you guys? So, it's your girl Tia. Coming really, really, really quick. Probably at the most, let's say, 10, 15 minutes, let's say. Of your time to show you guys how to, uh, how I do my candles. I already have a previous candle video that uh, shows you guys how to do picture photos. Uh, we kind of learned some new things, uh, found out some new tricks, want to try something new so this will be a new video and what we will be doing in this video is drum roll a Michael Core vid uh Michael Core video Michael Core candle and in the midst of doing my Michael Core candle you guys see my lovely table is saran wrapped because this will be also used for a cake later on today and I care about my lovely Anyhow, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run to my computer and show you guys from the actual desktop how to do the paperwork that needs to be done, the artwork that needs to be done from the computer. So if you guys are ready, let's go. All right, so here we go. We are in front of the desktop, you and I, as if we were sitting right next to each other. And you are going to see exactly how to go by doing this on your computer to print out your beautiful Michael Core candle or any other candle in that matter. So the first thing is first is you want to open up your web browser to tell it what image you want. And you get to pick the exact image from what the internet has shown you. So to better explain that, we're going to go to the Google search engine and we're going to go ahead and put Michael Core symbol. And then from there, you're going to see all different types of things and you're going to just go to the top and click image. Now, we are here and I'm going to show you guys the two that I felt were the best. So it's this little gold guy right here and there's this black one right here. I could show you guys how to do both, but I could just show you guys the one that I desire the most. So the one that I like the most would of course be the black one because it seems more elegant, it's more calm. Some people would like this one, but I feel like this one is showing you that it's a 3D image and I would have to put it in a matter of a one dimension uh, let's say art so because it's just simply a picture that's going to be on a candle I really don't like the fact that you could see that it's a 3d of course the Michael Core purse has the hanging uh, object the hanging MK object but this is a candle and it's flat so I like this flat ideal here and then we also have the gold glitter that will kind of bring the candle out so we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this image. I already have it saved, but I'm going to show you guys how you would save it. You would say, okay, well, of course, be on your computer and it's going to go under downloads. You will put what name that you want it to be. Michael, I've saved it several times. Michael Core Black and Michael Core Gold. So at this point, we'll put Michael Core Candle. And then we'll save it. Now, as soon as we've done that, you are pretty much done with the web browser part of this project. You can now go to your desktop and you can open up a Word document. I have, like I said before, I've done this to uh, show you guys exactly how I did it, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up again. An empty Word document. You're going to open up the blank document and you're going to go to this blank page, open it up. After that, you're going to go to the insert tab at the top of the Word document app and you're going to insert pictures from a file. You're going to get this from your download folder. Go ahead and click downloads and it will be here. Is it possibly saving some notes? No, it should be. Yeah, so pretty much it'll be here in your downloads. Maybe I didn't save it last time. So, yeah, it'll be in your downloads. You're going to go ahead and click the picture that you want it to place on your candle. And you're going to scale it to the exact size that you want it to be. So for this, the micro core uh, word is way bigger than the actual symbol. 
So I'm going to actually have that micro coil word wrap around my candle a bit and I want to make sure that I get my symbol at the size that I desire for it to be which is this. It usually only takes up about a quarter of the page when I'm doing the candle but uh, the logo is small and the words are big so I kind of have to find a in between. So at this point if you were to cut the paper in half this would be a little half of a half so a little more than a quarter of your your page so at this point you're going to go ahead and uh, get ready to print out your picture this is the exact size that we want it so what I'm going to do is go back to the actual camera so you guys can see me again and see how I prep my paper to go in the printer for this printing all right so I will see you in a second Alrighty guys, so I am back. Let me get comfortable. Alright guys, so I am back and uh, this is our blank sheet of paper. This is a 8 by 11 sheet of paper that goes inside of the printer. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some tissue paper that I have, which I have a lot. And I'm going to take off one sheet. And I'm going to scale it to the sheet of paper that goes inside of the printer. I want it to be practically the exact same size, but a little smaller if possible. Excuse me. So, you're going to go ahead and begin to. You can't be smaller if you guys know how to uh, tape it very well. But if you guys want to make it easy, I'm going to just make it a tad big, tad bit bigger. Turn it around. Turn it around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely. Something, 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 something to sound. Turn around, bright light. Every now and then I fall apart And I need you more than ever And I need you more Forever there is something that is better than mine Now I'm all falling apart What else am I to do? Total eclipse of love Total eclipse of love Alright guys, so At this point We pretty much are Halfway done You want to make your paper as flat as possible. This is my tissue paper on top of my computer paper, printer paper. I'm going to, you see how I made it a little bit bigger? This is going to be an easier way for you guys to make your life pretty simple. You only want not even an inch extra, but you want a, a teensy bit extra. So you can fold it over and tape it because when you're putting something on your candle you want it to be on tissue paper why because tissue paper is very thin I'm not absolute sure what's the content of tissue paper I don't know if it has any wax or whatnot but it practically seems as if it vanishes and blends into your candle after you do the heating process so right now at this point I kind of folded all my corners inward all the extra tissue paper that I had I folded over the edges of the printer paper I'm going to take a little bit of tape a little bit because if the printer ink runs onto your tape it's going to smudge the ink. I'm going to use tiny pieces of tape. You still want the printer to just take this in like a regular piece of paper. You also want to know which side to put your paper on when you're putting it in the printer. The way that my printer works, I don't know if it's all printers because I can only speak for myself, is when I put it 
if I were to put this in a printer, I would put my tissue paper down. The printer would suck it up, print on it this way, and then when it comes out, my tissue paper and my micro card symbol would be face up. So it basically is like a belt. It goes, let me show you one more time. It goes tissue paper down. It sucks it in. And I guess the printing belt is here, somewhere inside the printer. And it prints, 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 prints. And when I come to the printer, my papers are ready for me, just like that. So. This video is not for experts, by the way. This video is for people who really want to do this project. You have no idea how to do it, and you really need somebody to take their time and tell you. And not do 10 second, 10 second videos for something that's going to end up taking you an hour because you don't know what you're doing. So, for all the beginners who love arts and crafts, this video is for you. You get to do amazing things with your mind. The mind is a terrible thing to waste. And learning comes by hearing. So, my tissue paper is not going to fall off. I can hold it by its end. It's not gonna fall off because it's taped on there. So I'm gonna go throw this inside of my printer and I'm going to press print on the document that we just did together. All right, be right back. All right guys, so I am back. And right now, my camera is telling me that it is either dying or no more space. I have four minutes. So I am going to quickly show you guys how to do this. So this is my paper out of the printer. And I have my micro core symbol is on the tissue paper. What I'm going to do is cut it off. I want to get it as close to the symbol as possible. So it's easier to cut when it's on the paper. We still got it right here. What is it? All right, so I got it pretty close. This is what you're going to put on your candle. So we have our candle right here. I'm gonna go ahead, show you guys how I'm going to position it. a little and I'm going to grab my wax paper put my heat gun and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this to stick on so basically you have it where you want it to be make sure it's not crooked Wax paper. Fold it. And you're just going to use your heat gun to heat this up. And I'm going to heat it up. And then when I, it is time to come back, I will show you guys what it looks like. you guys so I am back and I found out that it wasn't my battery it was a little sim card that was telling me that I was running out of space miscommunication I thought that my card was empty but it had a few videos that I had to delete that my husband already edited so um, right now I have some tape on here because I was trying to make a perfect line to See where I want my glitter to stop, but this is basically the candle right here. Michael Core, nice, seamless, and beautiful. You guys can see it very well. 
I had a boo boo. Not boo boo, but like that. It got scratched up a little bit. When I, I hit it with something, but. This is the candle. So far, so good. So uh, at this point, I'm just gonna simply add some glitter to it. I wanted it to be seamless, but at this point, I'm just going to uh, wing it. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and open my Mod Podge. actually squeezing it out. So I'm going to go ahead and dip my paintbrush inside of my glue. And if I want to do a little squiggly design, you can squiggle your uh, glue. Whatever design you want it to be, the glitter to be, that's what you would do on here. But I'm going to simply uh, just apply it. No science, no extra things. Just to show you guys how to make this lovely candle. Alright guys, so at this point I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, for my glitter. I have a plastic plate under it so all the extra glitter could fall on. want it to be uneven I thought about doing a straight line but now that I look at the straight line you can see all the glitter at the bottom but I'm going to uh, kind of give it a rigid end kind of like it's uh, slowly disappearing so just give it that extra push and you want it to almost touch the micro core symbol Later I'm going to show you guys how to clean it up after it went over the microcorder. This is practically it. I'll show you the finished product later.